and we are back. <laughs> I found where the last guy was. I have not killed him yet. I'm going to show you guys where he was hiding. He is down by the wheel skeletons. But there is a way to get there without going through those fuckers. We go this way by the, from the second bonfire. And not get hit like that, like a noob. I will be back up here to show you a shortcut that is from that point. That makes it easier to get to the spot you drop to to get to Leroy. We will be getting Leroy. Like I said, I'm wanting to get all of the different uh, storylines. As I get my ass chewed on by everybody. There's a Titanite Demon all the way down there. It is just past where I showed you that you enter that one covenant, the Grave Lord's Covenant. And it will, and there is an item on that Titanite Demon that will allow you, or not on it, but past it, that is, I think, Eyes of Death, which you need to give to the Grave Lord's Covenant. So let's, go down here follow this sign right here which is what tells us hey there's something over here might be worth it as you can see I purposefully died just to get down here because you just saw it I saw it there's a dude right there let's kill him real quick and now we can actually kill skeletons again. As long as we don't die. <laughs> and I died like a punk, but now that guy's not going to be around to bring them back. Yay! We died I don't know how many times and lost all that humanity, but hey, we killed the dude that was bringing them all back, so... Let's do this. Let's bring in one humanity so that we can restore our humanity. Actually, let's not yet. Let's not reverse our Halloween yet. Now that we can actually kill dudes again, see if we can get any humanity from killing these Skelebros. Because if you haven't killed the boss of the area, Enemies tend to drop humanity. As you can see, some idiot died and gave me a hundred souls. I am just not doing well at the moment. I mean, I've been sitting here advocating for people to... Wait, was that not the one bringing these guys back? It wasn't! There is another freaking dude floating around here somewhere. Holy shit! <laughs> there is another necromancer somewhere in this area. Holy shit. <laughs> and I don't know where he is. Hey, you can even see the signs that say Leroy's here. Down there. <laughs> or at least saying there's like something there. Now. I have no clue where that other... I do not remember where that other necromancer was. I must have gotten him. I've been through here on my other characters. But I do not remember where he was.
I mean, usually he's close to where the skeletons can protect him, so you'd think he was right there. But he wasn't. Strange. Wait, did that guy just die and give me souls? Yep. So the ones that are protecting in that area still have a necromancer on him. Well, let's go and take care of these guys, if there are any left. Looks like there aren't. And take out a Black Knight before we go back up and summon Leroy, and I'll show you guys that shortcut I found. Now to get to the Black Knight, I showed you the Titanite Demon, who will two-shot you if you're in early build. So, you know, don't fuck up. The Black Knight is down that hole. I found him on accident when I fell. Dashing through ahead. <laughs> yeah, some of these things are pretty funny to read. Be wary of fall. So let's not roll over it like a dumbass. The Black Knight should be right here. Did he? Did he fucking follow me? He did! that the Black Knight is down there with the wheel skeletons. Do I have bombs? <laughs> yes, I do. I think I will try and at least get rid of some of these wheel skeletons with them. Let's go back up to that one. <laughs> there we go. Sit down and reverse our hollowing, shall we? Yay. And again, get hit like that like a new punk. Oh man. <laughs> this guy just seems to sit there so he can throw himself off the ledge for you. I don't know why he keeps sacrificing himself, but we must thank him. Thank you, random skillabro number 372. Now, if you go over here, and do not go in there, but go over this way, there is an item right there 
a war scythe, right, like here, so it tells you where to go, and then go over here, drop in this hole, and you are right next to the drop you need to make to get to Leroy. And not get hit by those skulls, because... not want to be hit by those skulls. And again, die like a punk. <laughs> ah, uh, this must be entertaining to you guys. I'm sure it is. Watch as I use up all of my humanity just trying to get this one guy and then have to say, hey, I'm going to go grind again so I can get more humanity so I can waste to try and get this one guy. <laughs> uh, like I said, I'm going to try and do everybody's stories, which includes on some of the characters buying their miracles and their uh, Buying their miracles and their sorceries. So, yeah. Leroy. Thank you. Whee! Now, Leroy's a badass who can just tank these wheel skeletons. Let's lead him to where we want to go, because we want to take out Pinwheel. Come on, Leroy. Let's go, shall we? And this actually confused me, because I didn't realize that was a boss fog the first time through. So I'm like, hey, another spot, but I can't see where you climb back up, so let's see what's down here. And there's Pinwheel. This fight will probably take another couple minutes. I mean, we saw how fast I got Capra Demon done, and now I've got two on one, so... You know, I kind of feel bad not only for the storyline behind Pinwheel, but also, you know, this, these dude dudes are just kind of doing their own thing, and suddenly somebody comes along and just kind of starts, you know, going, hey, I'm going to fuck you up kind of thing. Leroy got the last hit. Yay, thank you, Leroy. And there's the right of kindling. Now you can get all bonfires to give you plus 20. So, yeah, thank you, Leroy. We now have pinwheel. I've never noticed this. Mask of the Father. Awesome. I am not going to do the giant dad build. Before anybody asks for asks at all, I am not doing the giant dad build. Yeah, it's an interesting idea. I don't even think that took a minute.
to be honest. That will over there will lead you to the Tomb of the Giants. We do not want to go there this early in the game. We just want to get the fuck out of here. This is the message that will show up if you are in offline mode. It tells you there is a shortcut here. And this shortcut just goes and goes and goes. <laughs> but it does have a nice little spot, Soul of a Proud Knight. And you should feel like a proud knight after defeating an easy-ass boss like Benwheel, I guess. But now, any wheel skeletons, I just have to fucking deal with, because... I hate them because if you do not have them aimed at a corner when they go flying past you, then they will just run along the wall, which will suck because... You have to then chase after them. And that is like the one thing you are not supposed to do with wheel skeletons. So unless you have enough like I did when you catch up with them to swing twice, then... and enough to kill them in those two swings, then you are shit out of luck! <laughs> now I don't have any lore behind Leroy other than the fact that he got his name from the old uh, Leroy Jenkins thing. Which, I was not a part of WoW when that happened. I have only played WoW a little bit. And yeah, Vamos' shortcut is along one of these walls. I think this one right here. Yeah, right there. You can hear him tinking away. But, and there, you can even see people sitting at it. That guy is offering kindling, so let's just kind of sit. Which I really shouldn't have done, because that means I have to climb my way back out, and I just respawned wheel skeletons. But, hey, we all make mistakes. <laughs> Mine just happened to fuck me over worse than others do. How I managed to do that, I do not know. Hey, I got him before he could spin. our way out of here. As we search, search, search for whatever we need. I don't know why I did that, or why I said it that way, but eh. Let's keep going, shall we? That led to the paladin dude, to the dark knight dude. Just climb back up this way. Do not question why those two skeletons did not show up again. Just thank ourselves for them not being there. So 
Sometimes you just get whatever help you can get. Yes, I did just say that exploding red skull was helpful. Still don't know where the freaking thing is here. There's something in there. I do not know what it is. I do not know how to get there. I will put in a short little video of me trying and probably failing to get it. Get whatever it is. Oh! Wow! Skeleton3493, you have forsaken me. The other two haven't. Yay! I think that's the one that still has a necromancer tied to it that's just been chasing me this whole time. So I run back up here and set this bonfire. And then leave. But yes, we now have a fire bow that I will be plus fiving off screen. Which means, yay, more grinding. But we also have the art of kindling now. Which... I don't know why I'm just running past these skeletons. I mean, this could easily fuck me over in the long run. He just dove off the side! <laughs> okay, this bridge is actually kind of helpful. I just caught that out of the corner of my eye. If it wasn't for the fact that locking on 360'd me, I would have gone on there. Yeah, now I'm just taking out the skeletons. And yeah, I'll go the long way so that I can get more souls, because, you know, I can always use more souls in this game. Yes, if you want to do what I did and grind up for the Blood Bite Ring and Poison Bite Ring, they do help. I know some people say that they don't, but they do. I've been wearing the Blood Bite Ring most of this playthrough so far. Well, I say most of. I'm sure it will pretty much be most of by the end of this. Uh, blood is not a buildup that I like. So, <laughs> it is one I will try and avoid as much as possible. Uh, the Moonlight Butterfly has two items tied to it. Um, like I said, this character you will see in New Game Plus Plus. So that also means that between me New Game Plusing and me uh, New Game Plus Plusing, I will probably be taking breaks between to play other games. Uh, I will do my Dark Souls 2 playthrough before I do my New Game Plus 1 playthrough. And like I said, I will be going through showing you guys all of the items how to get 
uh, the boss items and whatnot. Yay! Kill him. Kill him. Since this character is not a sorcerer, I will not be able to do the light thing. Uh, let me know if you want to see me take on the Tomb of the Giants first, or if you want me to take on uh, Lost Isleth first. If I take on Lost Isleth first, I will be getting the helmet that grants me full life. If you don't tell me which one, I will probably take on Lost Isleth first. Because I will not be having a... I will show you guys what the lantern does. Or what the lantern is like. Okay, so there's the lantern. That's what it does. You need to sacrifice a... It does not light when you have it down. You need to sacrifice your shield to be able to see. Uh, if a person likes to dodge, that's fine. If they don't, well... It all depends on how you play. But, let's get back up to Firelink before I end this video. I did not sit at that thing. If I die before then, I will die. And have to go all the way back over there. I will sit over here. Because I thought I already had. <laughs> hey, I can also level up right now. Um, yeah, let's put a couple more in decks. Like I said, dex is simply so that I can quickly get my spells going faster. But I have forgotten. Okay, it's a D in both Dex and Strength. C in Strength, D in Dex will probably raw the battle axe, raw one of the battle axes, and uh, yeah, I'm not sure what kind of build I will be going for at the end. The reason I want ultimately 45 to 50 in Dex is so that I can. Uh, cast spells more quickly, especially for a pyromancer whose spell casting is not necessarily the fastest. Don't ask me why I wasted an Estus there, I just did. Climbs the stairs! Oh, climbs the ladder. Now climbs the stairs. Yeah, those exploding heads, I don't think you can kill them without activating them, and they give you no souls. So, they're good little landmines to take out whatever enemies they can take out. Here we are, back in Firelink! Yay! And... Backstab this guy before he can do it. Yeah, I never noticed how powerful I was at by this point. I mean, I think I was already taking these guys out in like three hits and now I'm two hitting them. 
Hey, someone else rang the bell of awakening. Sweet. But, uh... Yeah, um... I got some dialogue from Crestfallen. He said, how did that old man get make it back? How did that nutty sorcerer, some apprentice, make it back? For the, uh, fire teacher and Gregory there. And he has had enough listening about Lady, Milady, to last them a lifetime. Uh, oh, you again? Me? Uh, I've become separated from my lady. I've scoured near and far, but no sight of her. Where could she have gone? My lady, to think I swore to protect you with my life. Now, anyone who knows about Petrus of Thurland knows what's going on right now, but... If I had not gone down to the depths, and just, or if I had not gone down to, uh, if I had gone through the depths and taken out the gaping dragon, he would have disappeared with the other three, and then he would have shown back up here. If they take off before you've talked to Patches, Patches will not be where I showed you he is at. Oh, hello there. I'm oh, pleased to see you, as always. And I do not have enough to get another level in my pyromancy flame. Goodbye, then. Be safe, friend. Don't you dare go on, though. I won't. But now... And that is that. I thank you all for watching yet again. And I shall grind until I can, like do a couple more items, plus fives, plus tens, that kind of thing. But I will talk to you all later. Have a wonderful evening.